Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. Uh, today's course is a request by Colin Mafia and this is Dundonald Lynx Ayrshire Scotland, which is an RCR. Now I've got everything set at um, default and he's got the fairways on soft, the greens are soft and the green speed is medium. We're playing off the blue tees and they're coming in at 7,300 yards if I remember right. Let's get started. I thought I'd give this a bash since um, Ayrshire, it's not that far from where I was born in Glasgow, which is about 40-50 miles away, down the west coast of Scotland now. Okay, I've called it a European Tour Q skill, as you'll see in a minute after I tell you a little bit of history of the course. So hole 1, 459 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. Okay, I'm not going to bother with Skycam because, oh, let's get my cursor out of the way even though you just can't see it. Uh, it's a Lynx course, there's not a lot to see on a Lynx course, so we'll just start straight off. We've got 10 mile an hour tailwind, which is going to help us. Well, it all depends on my tempo, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. Perfect, perfect. First drive, right down the middle. Okay, this is designed by Kyle Phillips, who was a course designer. Originally known as Southern Gales, the Kyle Phillips Design Golf Course was purchased by Loch Lomond Golf Club in early 2003 to provide its global membership with the traditional Lynx Challenge. Okay, 152 with an 8 mile an hour wind. Pitching wedge. I'm going to go with the pitching wedge, but down loft it just a little touch. Okay, that's nice. It's pushing it, is it? Come on. Oh, it's going to be a little short though. Could down off that a little bit more or went with the 9 iron and put a bit of loft on it. Okay, 21 feet, 1 inch up. Got a little bit of turn left to right on it. Now the speed is pretty slow for a Lynx course, 144. Oh, nice putt. Get in there. Okay, the name was actually changed to Dundonald Dun Lynx to reflect the area's rich history. Dundonald means Fort Donald, and fortifications have been discovered nearby, dated to between 500 and 200 BC. More recently, in the early 1900s, there was a golf course on the site of the current Lynx course. However, it was converted for military use during World War II and lay dormant until the beginning of the 21st century. Okay, hole 2, 413 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Now, I did have a quick look on the course. It actually shows you hole by hole and stuff like that. And this is actually there, so that's not a, a mistake that he's put. And these ones here as well. Yeah, so I did have a quick look. I'll put a link in the description and you can see the course history and uh, sort of hole by hole sort of guide as well. Okay, we've got nine mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side. Okay, it's another nice strike. The wind's pushing it around to the right, but that should be fine. Right in the middle. Okay, as early as 2008, Dundonald was chosen as a venue for the first stage of the European Tour Qualifying School, hence why I've called it European Q School. And it continued to host this important tournament until 2011. In 2012, it was the turn of the seniors to test their skills against Dundonald's challenges when the course played host to senior opening qualifying. Okay, 110, but we've got that wind again. 108, so I'm going to take that right down, a bit of loft on that. Oh, I've pushed that quite a bit to the right. Again, I'm pretty short, too much loft. Okay, a bit of turn, right to left on it this time. 18 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, 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 that was way too pacey. Way too pacey. I battered that past, what, about 12 feet there, I reckon. 10 feet. Oh, let's hope we can get the save. 
Turn in. Come on. There we get it. Nice one. Okay, the prestigious boys amateur championship came to Dundonald in 2014 before the course welcomed some of the world's best female golfers for the Aberdeen Asset Management Ladies Scottish Open in 2015 and 2016. The arrival of the Aberdeen Asset Management Scottish Open in 2017 heralds a new chapter in Dundonald's history. In recent years the tour has taken this prestigious championship to some iconic Lynx courses across Scotland. Dundonald's Lynx is the latest to host what is a very strong field focused on winning one of European Tour's flagship events. And there's a little quote here at the bottom by Paul Laurie, who was the Open Champion in 1999. The feel of a classic Ersh Lynx test. So there you go, there's some history. Now I can start concentrating on the game. <laughs> okay, here we go, hole 3, 562 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Right, 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side. So I'm going to aim right down into this little sort of burn here. Oh, that's nice. That wind should bring it round for me. Okay, you've got nice clouds out. Nice sunny day in Scotland. Don't get many of them, but. Okay, 297 yards. This is a par 5. But that wind is against us, so I'm certainly not going to go for that. So 275. That should leave us around about a full shot in with that wind. Just as long as the wind doesn't push it too much. Oh, that's not too bad. That'll do that. Okay, 94, so that's actually playing about 97, but you've got that 14 mile an hour wind as well. I'm going to down loft this a little bit as well, because that is a pretty strong wind. And the higher the ball goes, um, it's actually going to keep it in the air for you as well. Okay, it's holding it. Come on, how's distance? Oh, that is not bad at all. A little bit of bite there as well. Okay, so that leaves us 16 feet, uh, 6 foot, 1 inch down. And we get the birdie. Nice shot. Yeah, that was a pretty good shot, that second one. So here we've got here Ian Poulter, Andrew Putnam, Jordan Spieth, Hideto, Tanihara, Julian Suri, Chris Stroud, Cameron Smith, Sam Horsfield, Stuart Sink, and me. K hole 4, 216 yards, par 3, stroke index 5. Okay, quite a lengthy par 3 this one, especially with that wind, wow. Okay, 224, so that's playing 221. I think we might be okay with the one iron. Let's have a look at the green actually. See which way this is going. Okay, it's all going. Oh, it's all going all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to try and aim it kind of to the right hand side here. Yeah, it should be okay there, I think. Oh, the wind's just picked up to 11 mile an hour now. Okay, that wind's sort of pushing it a little bit more left than I thought. And it's going to be a little bit far as well, I think. That's going to trickle up to the back. Still on the green now. Held the green. Okay, so what we've got here? 15 feet, 6 inches down. Okay, 15 feet. Okay, that was just a little tap. Oh, and it just, just swung past the left edge. A little bit pacey. A little bit less pace on that than I would have had that. Uh-oh. There we go. I do it every blooming round. Rush of, rush of blood to the head for some reason on these on one or two little putts I do that with. I don't know why. Just a lack of concentration. So that's going to be a bogey, I believe. Oh, yes. Bogey. Okay, let's see if we can pick us up. 
K hole 5, 550 yards, par 5, stroke index 17. Let's hope we've got the wind with us this time. Okay, looks like we've got a dog leg right up there at the top. Let's just turn around to the right hand, uh, left hand side. Okay, pretty strong wind again in our face. Well, kind of in our face. I don't think we've actually had the wind going with us except for the first hole, if I remember right. So that's going to be a pretty short drive. 289 yards, so I can't see us reaching the green here. Oh, we might. Oh, done it. No. Ooh. Gonna go for it anyway. I don't think we'll reach it, but it's just gonna leave us a little, little pitch, I think, or a flop shot, I reckon. If it actually makes it over this rough, hopefully. Come on, bounce for me. Come on. Right, that's either going to be a little flop shot or a pretty big chip. 25 yards, that's absolutely probably near enough bang on for the flop shot. And we get the perfect, perfect. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. So that should sort of negate that last bogey we had. We we'll should get a little birdie here if I watch what I'm doing with the pace. There we go. That puts us back to two under. Here we've got Andrew Putnam is six under after 13 and Ian Poulter is four under after 18. So we should be able to catch him. This is on hard settings, by the way, not hardest. K hole six, 171 yards, par three, stroke index nine. Lovely looking little par three, this one. Oh, that wind's picked up again, 178. So let's put, oh, 178, 172. We're gonna go down at the 172 because of the wind. Okay, that's nice. I need the wind to pull that across for me. Oh, and it's pulled up pretty, oh, 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 that's going to trickle off the back. There's a bit of a slope there, it looks like. Oh no, it's actually stopped. It stayed on the green. Okay, 21 feet, three inches down. Not got much of a turn on this one at all. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I turned it just a little bit too much. So that's going to be a little tap in for the par. Quite lucky to get away with that though. I thought that was going to go off the back of the green, so it wasn't too bad. K hole seven, 424 yards, par four, stroke index 13. He's got some nice terrain work here. I like all those little sort of undulations he's got though in the, the rough sector there. You've got the little furrows just going across the fairway right up, up by the green. Okay, the wind's dropped down eight mile an hour. We should be able to cut a little bit of this corner here. That's a nice looking tea box. I do like the plant and the grasses all, all the way around it there. Okay, that wind should push it a little bit to the left and it should be okay, I think. Oh no, that's actually short. Come on, get on the fairway. Ooh, that was lucky. Yeah, I did pull that slightly left as well though. Okay, 135 with the pitching wedge. A little bit of down loft on it because that wind is slightly pushing against it. Okay, that's nice. Need the wind to bring it round. It depends on distance now. Oh, that's well short. I think. Oh, right above that slope. Okay, it's a tough little putt here. Got a double break up, left to right, then right to left. I think it's more predominantly right to left though as it gets over the crest. So 19 feet, one inch down. Oh, that's pacey, that's pacey. Oh, again, way too pacey. You can tell as soon as you hit it, the amount of pace was in that way too much. Let's hope we can get the save here. 
It's weird, isn't it? You go for the pot for the birdie. And you get a little bit tentative, but the save, you just, you just batter them in for some strange reason. Okay, hole eight, 452 yards par four, stroke index one, hardest hole on the course. Okay, where is the pin? The pin's right at the back. So that's not too bad, it's given us plenty of run. We've got a nice big hollow there, right in front of the green. Don't know why this is the hardest hole in the course though. Okay, that should be nice. That should be right in the middle. Still pulling his drive slightly left though. Okay, 155, playing 154. I think we'll go with a nine iron. That should be good enough. That's a nice strike. Didn't even do my little practice swing there. Oh, that is not bad at all. Nice distance. That should leave us a nice little tap in for the birdie. Let me get it. Alright, so what does that put us on now? Okay, that's us up to three under. And Andrew Putnam still on, he's on 16, seven under. So we've got quite a few to go here. Hole 9, 419 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. Now I remember on the um, forum, they did say there was a train track on here somewhere. Why don't you have a look, see if we can see it. Okay, you've got driving range up there to the left hand side. It's coming up towards Clubhouse. 8 mile an hour wind, tailwind, so this is going to help us here. Oh, very fast. No, no, no. Oh, where's that going? Uh, it's going off. Stay in the light rough for me. There we go. Yeah. Every round as well, I seem to hit a very fast, and yet it doesn't feel like I've hit a very fast. Like I've said before a few times, I can usually tell if I've hit a slow or a fast, but when I get them very fast, I'm like, wow, how, how did I get a very fast? It just doesn't feel like a very fast. Okay, 119, so it's playing 120, 95 to 100%, so we're actually not much penalty there at all, so I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this, but a slight slope left to right, and the wind's going right to left. I'm hoping the wind's going to pull it, it's not, it's staying. Oh, right above a slope as well. Oh, again, we're going to be going uphill, then down. I'm going to have to be careful with this one. The last time, the last one I put right past the hole. Again, everything's going right to left this time, so it's not a double breaker. So as you see here, it says three inches up, but that's there. No, that's seven inches up there. But that looks like it's downhill here. But it's actually playing up. Oh, these are tough. Come on, hit that little slope for me. Oh, a little bit more pace. I think I might have got that. <clears throat> first one, the first couple of putts, too pacey, that one. A little bit tentative, just a little bit too, yeah, too soft there. But again, I didn't want to go right past. Okay, hole 10, 471 yards, par four, stroke index four. Yeah, next few courses I'll try and do, guys. I mean, I've got quite a lot of requests and got quite a lot on Twitter, quite a lot on the HP forums as well. Let me just get comfortable. So I'll try and get a few of them done, but there's also a nice competition going on on TGC Tours. I want to try and get a couple of them done as well, which is some of the really good designers out there. But like I said, I'll try and get a few of these request courses done over the next sort of week or so. Uh, this is a this is a request as well, this one. K hole 10, 471 yards, par four stroke index four. And as I said before, guys, I mean, I, I really do apologize if I, I can't get to your courses, but I do, I get that many requests. I think I've got upwards of 15 requests at the moment through Twitter and on the, the HP forums. And it's just impossible to get around to them all. But, 
I do appreciate the um, requests and I do appreciate the, the support you guys give and I do appreciate um, you watching the videos. Okay, 184. Tell you what, I'm actually going to... Oh no, I'm not going to down off this. I'm going to go with a 5 iron, 194. Oof, but then you're not going to get much loft on it. No, I'm going to down loft it. Hopefully it hits the green and gives us a little bit of run. Okay, that's nice. I was on a little slope there. I was thinking it might have gone a little bit more to the left, but it didn't. That's not too bad. That's catching a little slope there as well. That distance is absolutely spot on. That's going to give us a nice little tap in for the birdie. So that was the right shot to play that. A little bit of down loft, get that little bit of run on the green. That brings us up to four under. We're two behind Putnam. Rory McElroy's just come in there as well. I think I've seen that before I clicked off. Oh, is that? No, it's not. I thought that was bloody train track there. <laughs> My eyes are deceiving me. Okay, hold 11, 120 yards, par 3, stroke index 14. If we don't come across a train track by the end, what I'll do is I'll put it on the sky cam and have a quick look for it. I think that might be over there, actually. See it right at the back there? Don't know, might be. Oh, look at that wind's picked right up again. 12 mile an hour, right in our face, 127. I'm going to go with a 136, go with a pitching wedge, but down loft it a bit. Good thing is, pretty straight though. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to come up on your screen, guys, but I'm going to have to take off notifications. It's a game we play. A few of my mates and that play Atlas, and this big update just came out. And I'm on a Steam chat. And somebody's just posted that a big update's just come out for it. So I do apologise if you see that. And if they keep coming up, I'm going to have to turn it off <laughs> K hole 12 367 yards par 4 stroke index 16 but I'd probably have to go into the sentence to do that and it'd just be a pain in the ass but what I'd probably do is I'll, I'll leave the group and then just get invited back into it if it keeps popping up that is he should be in his bed it's a time it's bloody 25 to 4 and he's posting about updates hole 12 367 yards par 4 Stroke index 16. Again, that wind. It's a pretty strong wind all the way around this one. Oh, a slow backswing, which is going to take quite a lot of distance off. Oh, that is not much of a drive at all. 268 yards. Oh, is that a train track there? Yep, yeah, there's a train track there. A little stop sign. Okay, 99. It's playing 95. But with that wind, I'm going to have to go with a sand wedge here. Now, come on, push it in, wind. Come on. Wow, hardly moved that at all. And still a little bit short as well. Okay, what have we got? Slight little turn, right to left, 10 feet. Get the birdie. Okay, that puts us on six under. Oh, who, where did he come from? Darren Fickard. That's South African, isn't it? I think that's flag, yep. Minus eight after 18. Oh, we should catch that, I think. Rory McElroy, Sam Horsfield, Ian Poulter, all in there as well. John Ram, Francesco Molinari, quite a big European contingency, that. Um, Andrew Putman as well. Got a couple of Japs down the bottom. Japanese, should I say. Yeah, that's a nice looking hole. Just going across with the train track. I do like the colour he's got for the, the sort of the train track there. Oh, he's got like a little crossing thing as well. Did you see it? The little where they do the... I ain't got a bloody clue. Where they do the signal crossing. <laughs> oh, 13, 430 yards. Par 4, stroke index 2. 
I do like that it's up on a bank though, that is pretty cool. Got that raised bank all the way along that. Okay, that should be a pretty good drive. Got the wind behind us with this one, just over 300 yards. That's not too bad at all. It's probably the best drive we've had yet with this wind. Okay, 134. 122 is way too much, so we're going to go with the 134, which is a pitching wedge. Put a little bit of loft on it. Oh my goodness, what the hell was that? A slow fast? Yeah, did do my little practice swing, did I? <laughs> it does help. Uh, if you've got a bit of problem with your tempo, jump on the driving range. A little practice swing before you take your shot. It really does help. Well, it helps me out quite a bit. Okay, 40 feet, one foot down. Wow. And this has got a big, massive swing on it. I just need to try and hit it to here. The top of this crest and just let the, the slope take take it to the rest. This is going to turn quite a lot. Okay, now the slope's going to take it. Oh, ho, 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 that was so close. That was a good putt from there. That was not bad at all. Nice little lag putt. That was one hell of a turn on that though. Okay, hole 14, 552 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. Now this looks slightly an elevation on it, slightly looking uphill here. Big turn round to the right hand side, pins on the right hand side of the green. With plenty of room to run up towards it as well, but I don't know if we'll reach, depend on it, the wind's against us again. Not been lucky with this wind at all. Okay, nice drive. But again, it's going to only hit 280 yards. It's 550 yard par five. Can't see us making it. With that wind anyway. Nope. So it looks like we're going to be laying up. Just lay up to about there. And hopefully that's going to leave us a full shot in with either the pitching wedge or lob wedge or sand wedge. One of them. <laughs> okay, that leaves us 109 with the sand wedge. It's actually playing about 107. So let's down loft it a little bit just to counteract that wind. The wind is pretty straight as well, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's try and get this. Ah, oh, slow backswing. So that's going to take some distance off it. A lot of distance off it. So that's going to leave us with another pretty big putt here. Okay, 35 feet, one foot down. Okay, starts off left to right, as you can see there. And get about here and it starts turning right to left. Okay, one foot down, 35 feet. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, just made it to the slope. Oh, again, just, just so close with them putts. Well, happy with that. That second shot was a bit, oof, thought I hit that too hard. That was a pretty bad second shot, that slow backswing. Okay, we're two behind. Four to go. Oh, there's a train. There's a train station. Nice. Little sort of parking area as well. Oh, it's a crossing. Yeah, the car waiting to cross there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Job well done there. Yeah, it's pretty. Didn't have the don't have the proper barriers. Uh, something that HB could probably do. And here as well, these um. These, uh, I don't know what these are, bloody, they're not power lines, are they? Tele telephone lines or something. You could, you could always, like, have the wires going between them as well. They could add something like that as well, just to make it look that bit more realistic. 
I mean, I'm not sure if the course has pot bunkers in it. I'd imagine it has since it's a Scottish Lynx, but you really need to try and get pot bunkers into this game. I mean, they're not bad looking, but it would look nice with the proper pot bunker, especially the face on it, the big high face on it. Okay, 220 yards. Okay, with that wind. I'm going to have to go with the one iron. And this is, I think it's going to overshoot. Hmm, okay, the five hybrid, that's way too short with that wind. The one iron's going to be way too much, I think. But we'll try it. Oh, it's a fast. That's going to be way over. Yep. I was kind of hoping um, with the one iron there, if I hit the green, the greens were pretty soft. With that wind, it might have slowed it down, but didn't get a chance to find out. Okay, what well we've got? 64 to 71%. 24 yards. That should be okay, I think. Let's down loft it a little touch. Oh, look at that line. My goodness. Oh! Oh, 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 oh get in there! <laughs> Slam dunk. I was so lucky. <laughs> I was so, so lucky. Okay, 016, 487 yards. Par 4, stroke index 8. Okay, I do like the, the big sort of line of trees going all the way down the right hand side of this fairway here. Okay, got a little bit of wind now. 5 mile an hour coming in from the right hand side. So this should, should turn this too much. That's that slow backswing again. Come on. It's just off the just off the mark as well. Yeah, not a very good tempo this round. It's been pretty bad. Okay, 216. And it's a par four as well. I think we're gonna go with a five hybrid here. That's better. It's not too bad with a hybrid, you get a good height on the ball and it stops pretty quick, but that six mile an hour wind, oh mind you, look how far I pushed up to the left. I, th I thought it went pretty far left there, but it wasn't the wind, it was me. That's almost out of the cone, that one. That is going to be a huge putt, uphill. Wow, 50 feet, oh it's one inch down actually, let's have a look. So we're going left to right at the start there. Oh, get back to the putter. Left to right at the start. And it slightly starts going right to left, right about there. Okay, let's try about there, I think. What did I say? It's one inch down. Oh, that's not hard enough. Oh, yeah, it is. That's not bad. Uh, not bad light, little lag putt there. Distance was pretty good. So that's going to give us the par. Yeah, the tempo's killing me in this game. Especially the, sort of the, the, the slow ones. I'm one behind. Two to play. Come on. Hole 17. 445 yards. Par 4. Stroke index 10. Okay, we need to get two birdies here. Or if I get one birdie, I could draw, tie first place. Okay, that wind's dropped right down now, so you kind of got to take. Ooh. Oh, slow backswing again! Again, exact same place, just off the mark, and that is right in the bunker. Wow. That wasn't good at all. I was going to try and cut that corner just a little bit there. Okay, 88 to 88 percent. That's not bad. Gonna go with a five iron. It's not much of a lip on it. It should make it out of there. And I'm thinking we could go on this green and leave ourselves with a putt. Oh, very four. 
again, that's the very fast. It, it actually lands in the exact same place all the time when I hit the very fast. It just does not feel like a very fast. It's weird. Very, very weird. Okay, and you get this for the save. We're going to have to birdie the 18th. Come on, hit that slope. There we go. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, we might come away with a bogey here. We might just throw it away on the 17th. Oh, there's not much movement, so that's not too bad. Oh, no. That should have turned at least a little bit. But if you look at my line, it's all to the left-hand side. I pulled that. <laughs> I've just threw it away on the 17th. Two holes to play, one behind. Now we're one hole to play and two behind. What's a par five? 572 though, unless we've got a bit of wind behind us, we're not going to reach this green. And it looks like they've got the little, the little stream in front of it as well, so I can't see his reaching this. Ah, might come away with a birdie though, hopefully. So this is hole 18, 572 yards, par 5, stroke index 12. Oh, come on. Slow downswing that time. Yeah, pretty bad tempo game this round, this round guys. That's not bad though, 315 yards. That's quite big. Leave us 265. We've got a chance here with this wind, you know. Let's have a look with the green. Kind of hoping it pushes it over towards the pin there. Gonna have to play over to the left hand side though. Don't want to go too close to that water. Okay, that's nice, but I've pulled out left. Yep. Oh, ho, 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 ho. is it going to stay on for me? Right, so that gives us a chance at quite a huge eagle putt here, but I can't see his getting it. Hopefully, we we'll get it close and get the bogey, uh, get the birdie. Okay, so what we've got here? Got left to right there, and two squares, and then you've got right to left. Then you've got left to right here as well. Wow, it's kind of all over the place, this one. And what is it? 43 feet, three inches up. Oh, this is dodgy, dodgy. Nope, way, way, way. It sort of skipped when I hit it. Nice, nice pace on it though. So that's going to give us the birdie. And we're going to be one behind the leader. Uh, wasn't that, was that 17th hole? So there you go, guys. That's Dundonald Links, Ayrshire, Scotland, RCR by Colin Mafia. Nice course. Really enjoyed that. Just a pity my um, tempo was pretty not there at all today. It was all over the place. So who do we have here? Darren Fikart, the South African, who's minus eight. We got Andrew Putnam coming in at minus six. Rory McElroy, Sam Horsfield. John Ram, Francesco Molinari, Jason Day, Yasuka Miyazato, and Ian Poulter. So, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I really enjoyed playing that. Very nice course. Uh, don't forget, if you like the content, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you should do so, very much appreciated. And if you do subscribe, hit the little notification bell there. You will be notified anytime I upload a video on YouTube. Also, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you will be notified on Twitter as well. Because every time you upload, yeah, you will be notified on Twitter. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.